Uh, good morning once again. Good morning. Good morning. First of all, I'd like to thank sir for giving me this wonderful opportunity to say something in front of you today. So as you all know that sir gave me a chance to say something uh, and today I'm going to share with you a small story that I read this morning. The story is that once a young man came up to Socrates and told Socrates that he wants to know the secret to success. So Socrates told him that to meet him next morning. So the next morning the boy came up to Socrates and told Socrates that now you tell me the secret to success. And then what happened, Socrates first took him to a dense forest. And when he took him to the dense forest, the boy thought that Socrates, Socrates may told may tell me the secret to success here because this forest this is a dense forest and it's a peaceful place so he may tell me the secret to success here but as they reached that forest they went ahead of that forest ahead they reached a river and when they reached that river the boy again thought that he may tell me the secret to success just at the shore of this river. But then Socrates did it. Socrates went inside the water with that little, with that young guy. And Socrates was a giant man. So when they went inside the river, the river, the water came up to the neck of that guy. But Socrates was a giant, a tall man the water was not reaching his neck as he was a giant man and then what happened after that socrates put his head into the water and when he put his head into the water the boy could not the boy turned blue he could not take breath after when well, the boy was becoming very blue, he could not take breath. And then suddenly, all of a sudden, Socrates put his head out of the water and told him that this is the secret to success. And then Socrates, then that young boy thought that, what? Then Socrates told him that, when you were under the water what you needed the most what was the thing that you fancy for a lot that you were in need of that a lot then the boy thought that the boy said to him that it was not my family even my intimate friends or the god that i believed the most it was only one thing and that was brave and Socrates told him that that is the secret to success. So what we can learn from this story is that if we want to achieve anything, because we all are made for something, we all have that genius within us. But there are some obstacles, some obstructions that are fearing, that are stopping us, that are hindering us. So we have to break those hindrances to reach the point. And we can only reach the point unless we dissolve all those, destroy all those hindrances. And we are made for something that is hidden within us. We all have the different kinds of qualities. So we have to go within us and find those hindrances. Once a small incident I'm going to share with you, as you all know about uh, a great man, Swami Vivekananda. Once someone told him that there is a ghost, a ghost lives in this tree. So as he was a practical man, he could not believe other people when he was young. And he would always, his father would always told him that don't go and climb this tree because at the night don't go at this tree at the night because their ghost lives in this ghost resides in this tree 
so he was as i told you a practical man one day he went and climbed the tree as he climbed the tree he sat there for all night and at the morning he told he came up to his father and told his father that i sat here for all night but i didn't find a ghost in this tree so what i'm trying to say is that there are some naysayers naysayers they're telling you that they are giving you all the obstacles because you have to know these kinds of people you have something within you you have the great qualities so that's what uh, so what i'm trying to say is this that uh, we have to uh, find and we, if we want to achieve something we have to give our full focus to the thing then we can be successful at the thing that's all